Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how we can combine a couple different technologies to um, provide some cooling solutions for uh, direct energy weapons. So what you have here is a pretty basic um, liquid cooling system. You got your heat input. This would be through your laser diodes um, into a, a cold plate here and then some type of heat rejection system here with the pump pumping your single phase cooling uh, loop. So this would be a pretty pretty normal system. The challenge with this is your cooling system has to be sized to meet the full um, heat load that's being put in at the laser diodes. So what we can do is we can add in a PCM heat exchanger in here. So if we, if we put in a PCM heat exchanger right here, So this phase change uh, heat exchanger is going to act as a transient uh, storage device. So as you're putting your load in, some of that heat will be going into the PCM um, and will be stored in that transiently. And then the, the chiller, the coolant system or the cooling system here will have a lower load on it over time because basically once this turns off, the PCM will then start dumping a little bit of its load back into the coolant system. Um, to refreeze the PCM. Um, so that's one way that we can incorporate uh, a, a second technology into a direct energy loop um, cooling system. And then if you're looking at the, the, this cooling system, this is probably going to be, or it can be cooled really by a vapor compression loop here. Um, so this is another way that the PCM is gonna help with this because uh, this vapor compression loop you really don't want to oversize. It's one thing to oversize an air-cooled com uh, condenser or air-cooled heat exchanger, but you really don't want to oversize your vapor compression loop. So again, that PCM heat exchanger is going to reduce the capacity that's required on your vapor compression system. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. So thanks.